tomorrow's headlines today. Good afternoon, Klamath Basin. It's Tuesday, January 29th, 2019. I'm Kurt Lidke with the Herald and News. Here's a preview of stories that you can find in tomorrow's edition of the Herald and News. These are tomorrow's headlines today. Each year, it gives Klamath and Lake County Community Action Services, or KLCAS, and others an idea of who they need to help and where, in addition to coinciding with an annual giveaway to fight homelessness. The state's annual point-in-time count of homeless populations begins on Wednesday, which coincides with the annual KLCAS Winter Giveaway at Thrive Church, formerly Klamath Assembly of God. The event goes from 9 a.m. to noon on Wednesday. Last year's point-in-time count approached well over 140 within the afternoon and arrived to an estimated 200 throughout both counties. To ensure a proper count, which directly correlates to state funding available provided to address homelessness problems, many volunteers and staff at KLCAS go as far as Sprague River, Lakeview, and other remote areas of the Klamath Basin. Citizens for Safe Schools honored a volunteer mentor during its annual Mentor Appreciation Celebration on January 23rd. The celebration was a time where the staff could thank volunteer mentors for the time they dedicate to the program and to their mentees. As part of that, in the memory of co-founder, former District Attorney Ed Caleb, Citizens for Safe Schools names a Mentor of the Year annually. 2019's Ed Caleb Mentor of the Year Award was presented to George Rogers, who has been a mentor in the program for two years. The OSU Extension Center is back with another series of gardening workshops at Klamath County Library Branches. This year's series will feature tips for growing, pollinating, and managing pests without the use of harmful chemicals. Nicole Sanchez, Oregon State University Assistant Professor in Horticulture, will lead both budding and experienced gardeners in monthly workshops at the downtown, south suburban, and Chiloquin libraries from February through April. No pre-registration or prerequisites are required to attend any of the workshops. Each monthly lecture will be offered three times at each of the host libraries. The first will be on Saturday at the downtown Klamath branch at 1030, then Monday in Chiloquin at noon and next Tuesday at 1 p.m. at the South Suburban Branch Library. The Hammond family in Burns, at the centerpiece of protests that ultimately led to the Malheur National Wildlife Refuge Complex standoff several years ago, has had its grazing rights reinstated by Secretary of the Interior Ryan Zinke. Hammond Ranches Incorporated were issued a grazing permit renewal through 2024. It marks one of the last actions undertaken by Zinke before his resignation amidst corruption scandals. The Hammonds were formally pardoned by President Trump back in July for a five-year prison sentence on arson charges. And those are just a few of the stories you can find detailed in the Wednesday, January 30th, Herald and News. Be sure to follow us online via Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, SoundCloud, and of course, heraldandnews.com. You can also subscribe to our podcast on iTunes and Google Play. Be sure to check back each day for latest podcasts, videos, and breaking news impacting the Klamath Basin. And thanks for listening.